Hey, I'm Gates, and I'm going to teach you guys how to play Carry This Picture by Dashboard Professional. It's really not that hard of a song. The chorus is a little tricky, though. Um, just some weird, some weird chords. Um, so, I know them, so I'll show you how to play. Um, I'm going to play the intro and the verse, and then I'm going to teach you how to play the intro and the verse, and then I'll go into the chorus, which is going to be kind of hard. Okay, so, let's see. Let's keep it up here. Sweet this so you can see the guitar better. Okay. So open on the D, hammer on, second fret on the D. Do hammer on. Fourth fret D. Then second fret G string. Pull off. Back to the fourth fret D. There's the intro. Verse. Well, actually, it's the first chord. It's not actually the, the verse hasn't started yet. But G. You do a G shape. Um, third fret. Let me see here. Right there. Third fret E. Second fret A. Don't worry about hitting these last two because you're not going to be playing those on the verse. So there's these four strings. G. I'll show you the strumming pattern later. Then C, which is you just keep this finger here. Put your index finger right underneath it. Third fret A string. Point your finger. Second fret D string. Fifth fret, which is an A7. Fifth fret, E string. Fourth fret, right there, A string. And then fifth fret, D string. So boom, boom, boom. Okay. Yeah. Then and you go to an a, a D, which is, you just keep this finger here, just like you did on the G. Put this finger right underneath it, your index finger, fifth fret A, pointer finger, fourth fret D. Okay, pretty simple. After you play that, then you go to G7. Third fret E, second fret A, go right underneath it, third fret D. Sound like that. That I already showed you that one, which is third fret, right underneath it, bam. Go back to the A7. It's pretty much the same thing over and over again. G7. Strum patterns down, down, up, up. Okay, so down, up, down, down. So down, down, up, up, down, down, up. On the second up, on the second up, hit open. No strings. Just do an open chord, open, or whatever you want to call it, just open strings before you switch to your next chord. So demonstrate this. Seven sounds better. Open. It's not like crap, but it sounds good when you're switching to your chord. So, see how it sounds? It just makes it sound better. Pause it, practice it, because um, you will forget it. So.
practice it for a few minutes, then I'll show you the course. Course is a G, four G chord. Just in case you don't know, G is um, third fret. Oh, by the way, this is two and a half step down. I probably should have said that when I started. It's two and a half step down, and if you're not two and a half step down, you're not going to be able to play it with me. So, third fret, E, second fret, A, open, open, third fret, B string, third fret, A, E string. Then slide down to a B7 which is 7th fret E. It's the same same chord position as the G7, A7, now it's just a B7. 7th fret E, 6th fret A, but then right underneath it at 7 on the D. Okay, so... an E minor, just a weird E minor. You could play it like right here, up here. Doesn't sound as good. Play it right here, which is point your finger on the D string, fifth fret, and your index finger on the seventh fret A string. Just like it should sound like that. And hit all the strings. Then you slide down two, which is point your finger on seven and your seventh fret D and your index finger on 9th fret A string. So, let's do it all together. G. B7. Smile, it's the most in you. E minor. The thing I have. Slide down to. Ever. Then you got, got that chord position. Now you slide this finger down one. So your index finger should be on the A string, 10th fret. Then this pointer finger should be on the 9th fret D string. Let's see if this gets better. Like that. Okay. So you've got from this, slide down two, slide down one, and then put this finger on 9th fret. There, that's better. You can see that. Then, after that, you just put this finger, you keep this finger here on the ninth fret D string. Then you slide this finger, index finger to 12 on A. C. And then move it back. E. C. I was. Then you go almost like a G. You just go down strings which is 3rd fret A, then 2nd fret D string. So lost, but then you slide down to, now I believe. You should slide down to, which is, so it should be 5 on A, 4 on the D. Now I believe. Now, the last chorus is a little different. You play it once, okay? Then you play it a little different. I'll show you. So, believe so lost, but now I believe in the coast. Same. The smile is the most genuine thing. I just slide down to yeah. Then you go for that same chord. Besides putting this finger stretching all the way down to 12, and leaving this finger here, the ninth fret, you move put this index finger, 12 A string, put this finger on the 10 D string. C, C. Yeah, pretty easy. It's a lot easier than big long stretch. Index finger, 12A, pointer finger, 10D.
and go slide this finger up one. So it should be on nine, D, move this finger back to 10, A. Then I was so lost, but now I believe. Now I believe. Now I believe. Okay, so you got that. Okay, so I hope this video helps. If it doesn't, don't be mean and put mean comments on there. Okay, be nice and just don't say nothing. Okay, just view it and go look at somebody else's. Okay, which I don't think there's any other lessons on here. So I hope this helps. Thanks.